Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the TM30 form yet again. This is something that, it, you know, it's, it's one of those topics I talked a lot about at one time and haven't talked a great deal about here recently, but it's come to my attention that maybe some going over of old ground might be useful to some folks out there because, well, quite honestly, they may have not have seen my videos before on this topic, or honestly, the situation has evolved a little bit where further commentary is required. The reason I thought of making this video came from a comment which was on a prior video we made, I think on TM30. I'm gonna quote the comment directly, quote, the TM30 is filed by the property owner, correct? Unquote. No, not necessarily. In fact, they both could, the tenant or the property owner could both file TM30 in sort of a courtesy sense, I guess there is kind of a duty on the property owner to do that, but there is no penalty to the property owner if they don't file the TM30. As we discussed in videos going back years ago, talking about this in detail, yeah, there is something of a, again, duty is a hard word to, I don't think it quite comes to that level, but it's recommended, let's say, or it's strongly encouraged that those who take in foreign tenants file a TM30 on their behalf. Now, some landlords don't particularly want to do that, or they don't care, or they don't even know they need to do it. So many foreigners may find this rather frustrating that the landlord isn't really overly cooperative for very, m numerous reasons. They just might not even know they need to be cooperative. And for this reason it is why the video is being made. As a practical matter, you, the foreign national, Really, the TM30 is something you should be fundamentally worried about. And it's not something that you, it's not a duty that can be shirked off to someone else. It's not how it works. At the end of the day, the person who has the responsibility to deal with TM30 and the person who would be fined and the person whose immigration status would be impacted by either the filing or lack thereof of the TM30, that person's going to be the foreign national. It's going to be the foreign national here in Thailand who's going to need to deal with that. And as a practical matter, it would be very wise, it would be very prudent on the part of the foreign national who's concerned about this TM30 matter to deal with it themselves, frankly, as best they can. Now, again, you may need to have landlord assistance in providing documentation associated with the property, et cetera. But at the end of the day, the responsibility for the TM30 falls upon the foreign national who's physically present here in the Kingdom of Thailand.